Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to all the Ambazonians. Good evening to the Ambazonians on Ground Zero. Good evening to those in the forest. Good evening to those who are in the asylum camps in Nigeria. Good evening to all our able defend forces who are doing a marvelous job on Ground Zero. This is Prince Ayamba, again, wants to come and brief you of what is happening precisely in the Republic of Cameroon and also in the Ground Zero. Yeah, Prince Ayamba, Mr. Hopes, is again always present with you people in spirit, even though the distance separates us from Ground Zero. I will always be in touch with you people and give you the best I can do in order to keep you people on the safe side as this struggle co continues. The fact is that we must reach Boya. There is no other choice. We must be in Boya. We must have our independence. The independence is a reality. It was stolen from us in 1961, but we must fight very hard to regain it. I am telling people, I'm assuring people, we must have this independence. Yes, yeah, this Prince Ayamba again saying it to you directly from Paris. Okay. As I Ella said, I greet everybody in the diaspora. I greet all those who are in the sales, jungle sales of our public Cameroon. Hopes, hopes, hopes should be the key of our struggle because with hopes, we are going to reach Boya very soon. So many things are making us to have hopes, of which I have to bring you some of the things now. Presently, as I'm saying, I'll give people some, you know, alerts. Things which are happening in ground zero, which will happen so that people should take care. Mostly the self-defense forces should take care. Also, so that, you know, the citizens of Amazonia should also be aware of these things and try to keep away from these evil forces or, you know, those Amazonians who are helping so that the Republic should cause genocide on their own people. I will come to it and give you people information of what is happening presently. So I will first of all start with an alert here, which is very, very important. We just reached us today. Okay. Please, if, please, please, Amazonians. After the alert, I will give you people some topics which I have to discuss, of which my video, the other video ended halfway, the last video I made. So I'll continue from where it ended. Then I'll give you the recent happenings on ground zero and some of the happenings in La Republic of Cameroon who will have to affect also the struggle. But this will be on the advantage of the Amazonians. Okay, as I've said, I start straight away with some alerts. You know, please, 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 no Amazonian fighter should take anything about them by the military such as the uniforms shoes and caps the military belongings are coated and if you take them you will be dictated they will trace your camp so i'm saying this to the self defense forces and all the amber boys if you see anything which is abandoned by the military, don't take it because that is what is going to happen. They are planning to abandon things, military uniforms, caps, you know, shoes, and even caps. So that you will see, you will feel that it has been abandoned by those who have deflected from the armies. And you will collect it. And if you take it to your camps, there are devices in these dresses which will trace where the camp is and the military will come for you. So please, this is very, very important. People should take note. Please, I'm begging for this. very important. Don't collect anything you see abandoned in the forest or in the road or in the bush, bushes by the military. These, all of these are coated. They have, you know, devices that will trace your weight about if you take it. Please, this is a very good information I'm giving you. Please take it serious and spread the message. Reliable sources from your own day says choose uniform caps and other belongings of the, the 
military will be abandoned in bushes and even in forests to make the Abazonians self-defense forces believe that the forces, the Republic forces are deflected and abandoned these things. And hence, they might collect them. Let me inform you, my good ambassador fighters, if you take them, they will dress where you are. Please, avoid all these things. Don't take them. These are reliable information that is coming from Yaoundé. That they will abandon things like that. So that if you take them, they will know, they will dress your way, your way about, your camps. If your houses, please, 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 I'm begging, spread the message, spread, spread the message to everybody. This is very, very important, please. Thanks for understanding. Okay, as I said, we are in a struggle. There are time of joy, there are time of sorrow, there are time of, uh, you know, everything. That is how revolutionary struggles are. Time of misunderstanding and time of, you know, understanding. Time of divide, division and time of unity. Time to run and time to stand. Every freedom movement that has taken place in the past, people are fighting for liberation. They pass through these things. People will suffer. People will suffer. People will die. But most of them will end. And finally, they will have their independence. That is what we are passing through. We, the Amazonians, that is what we are passing through. So I, Prince Ayamba, the son of Late Chief Ayamba, is begging for, should be very, 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 you know, determined. No matter the ups and downs in the struggle, we must reach Boya. God has planned it. We must reach Boya. We will never give up this fight. We are on the right track. So, I'm appreciating all those who are Grand Zero. All those who are in Grand Zero for doing this valuable job, this great job. This great job has, that has taken life for free on that way. It has taken La Republic unaware. La Republic is confused. As I told you in my clip that they will be confused. They are more confused than ever. I will bring it in some species that they have made to show you that they are confused more than ever. This is Mr. Hopes talking to you people. Giving you people the strength, the belief, and that we will be in Boya. Mr. Hope is always here for you people. And I believe the Ambazonians are having hopes in the criminal killings they are doing because we were even informed that these things will happen by the ministers. Ambazonian ministers who are there working for the Republic, those slaves, they are in bondage because they are in these sacred societies. They cannot live like that. If they live, they will be killed. And they encourage us to be wholeheartedly strong in the, in the struggle and achieve it. Because if not so, they will eliminate all the Amazonians. Okay, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, good Amazonians all over the world. I would like to continue where I ended in the other video because I was talking about the Soka death celebrations. So as it was said, because I always like to give you know, a summary of what happened the whole week up to the recent happenings. So I'll continue from where I ended. Soka death celebrations. On Friday 10th, August 2018, the Soka death Different forces joined in the celebration of their cultural, you know,
feast as the forces inform the Ambazonians population the Ambazonian population that this war was declared by Paul Bia, the dictator instructed by the president of France Emmanuel Macron The war came and met them in their villages. They did not declare war on La Republic. Hence, they informed the women and the men and the kids that they will fight till the last person standing to defend them. The, cere the ceremony was marked by traditional dances and rituals by the gods of the land to give the Sukadev, you know, blessings from the ancestors. God bless the Sukadev and the Abazonia fighters who are fighting for the freedom of Abazonia. God bless Akwanga, the leader of Sukadev. And all the generals who are there on ground zero. I will just try and show you a short video so that you will see how the ceremony, the ceremony took place. You can see the sugar death in their uniforms. My name. Many people know me, but some don't know me. My name is Andrew Ngoy. Brigadier General Andrew Ngoy of the Southern Cameroon Defense Force, sugar death. I would like to make the same all smoke in the front. Information say, make our people careful. Now, because we know I made something happen with them. We will not be prepared for war. We will not be prepared for fight. We will get our way over 100 land. But they declare war on us, bring a right inside our homes. So we will not go stand and fold our hands. They kill our mommy them. They kill our papa them and they kill our bikini them. The general is going in for a spiritual donation. Captain Fokoyo, Captain Mazu is Okay, that was the celebrations. Okay. 
From this, we go to the next celebration again. As even though the war is still going on, but there must be celebration. That is why in a revolution like this, we don't only think about the war, we must celebrate also with time. The least time you have, you have to celebrate because you don't know what will happen the next moment. So the ADF, seven different forces, celebrated their leader, Dr. Ayabacho, back day. In time of war, there is also a bit of time created to celebrate. The ADF under General Ivo celebrated Ayabacho's birthday on Saturday, the 11th of August 2018. First time that they will never leave their leader on the way till the rich boy. They will never leave Ayabacho on the way till the rich boy. General Ivo prayed, prayed for those in the diaspora, and he asked the diaspora to also pray for them back home, as I will show you in the clip. This was a very good gesture for General Ivo and his group, the ADF. Let me show you the video, please. Show you another video concerning the celebrations again. Yes, we we'll go first of all, we we'll go sing national anthem. We we'll go sing national anthem in a military way. For make our papa may be proud for way to way. He don't supply. He don't. He don't do effort for say move get them. So I believe say the. Despora go here national anthem for military way and for now we na open our ears very well we na get a national anthem for military way when we na go here happy birthday I go end for happy birthday then we hear military go sing and sing we na go hear military happy birthday way go be we go sing and out gone happy birthday to you happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Ayabacho. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! 
God give you long life. As your children have just said, in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord give long life to the diaspora in Jesus' name. Amen. May you see your children, children in Jesus' name. Amen. Same as we do, do we see our children, children in Jesus' name. Amen. The diaspora will not get advantage of we will find a war on a children and children. <laughs> we'll get confident when I saw our children and children, children, but we will never show. We believe in our Lord God. When I pray, what we do? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, that was it. That was celebrations, celebrations. Yes, the ADF celebrating their birthday, the birthday of their able leader, Dr. Cho Ayaba. I also attend, I also extend my own, you know, birthday greetings to you, my able Dr. Cho Ayaba. Okay, we proceed. Okay, BBC Marshall and others had a session of prayers in the prison on Sunday, the 11th of August 2018. The Ambazonian hero, of, the Ambazonian hero of the Covid Revolution, BBC Mancho, among others had you know praying session which was accompanied by singing and dancing and giving praises to the almighty god in prison in yaoundé the capital of the colonial country the republic the cameroon this show how the work of hope is in prayers Prayers conquers all difficulties and bring hopes and joy. The Almighty God bless all those Ambazonians in prison. The Almighty God bless the revolution in Ambazonia. The Almighty God should bless all our leaders in prison. Vanga Fogalapo and the others. His Excellency Sisiko Ayoktabe Julius and others. All the refugees in Nigeria, all those in the hiding in the bushes, all those in ground zero. I also pray for you people that God should bless you people and give you the strong will for this difficult moment that we are passing through in the history of Amazonia. I will try and see if I can show you both an audio where they were praying in the prison to show that even in the prison they have courage.
Okay, that was it in the prison in Konami. In Yaoundé. Okay. From celebrations and prayers, we come to funeral celebrations. The ninth Ambazonians who were killed, massacred by the evil forces of the Republic, the Cameroon, at Ete Bakundu. There was a memorial service and burial. On, this, on Saturday, or on Sunday, excuse me, on Sunday, the 12th of August 2018. I extend my condolences to those who lost their loved ones. The kids who were killed are in the same coven with their parents. We, the Ambazonia, extend our sympathy to their families who lost their loved ones being killed by the Republic of the Evil Forces. We also beg America under Donald Trump, the president, to step in and bring everlasting peace and stop the genocide. And we call on the rest of the world to say something concerning this genocide because it is abnormal for genocide to be going on in Ambazonia and the world sit quiet and look. The world will have to give an account of this. Why? It has to sit quiet and look. The Republic evil forces under the dictator, President Paul Bia, causing genocide on the Ambazonians. Let me show you how the funeral took place. Those are pictures during the burial when they were carrying the corpse after the funeral. Those are pictures. The world should see it. The world should see what the public is doing. And this is a video for all the cops. The world should see it. Okay, that was it for the funeral and burial of those who have been killed by the Republic of Cameroon. Okay, but also on the 11th of August, that was on Saturday, 2018, in Lubelen village, the army burned the village to ash. The army of like the Cameroon burned the village to ash. After about 110 villages in northern and southern zones of Albazonia had been burned down. Saturday, the 11th, as if it was not as if as if it was not enough. And that village was burned down. Known as Lubadé village. In Konya County, in the south southern zones of Amazonia.
See the minister letter which was written to John Baakoro informed us that these things will happen. All these things that are happen, happening now, they told us in the letter that it will happen. So we should also take precautions not to be lost in life. If they can just escape, let them burn the villages. We will have our independence. The world should see the present burning of villages. This foolish, wicked government of La Republic is calling the Amazonians in the forest to come back and they are burning the villages. They are calling the Amazonians so that they can come back and they will be killed. That is their main aim of calling the Amazonians, telling the refugees to come back. But unfortunately for them, we know their tricks. We know that La Republic is a satanic country. It's a weaker country. It's a country that does not respect human rights. A country that has been living on blood. The world should see the present burning of villages in Amazonia and take action to save lives. Let me see if I can show you a short video also. Lobadena is under fire. Lobadena is under fire right now. That is the video. You are should not quiet. That is the video. Now the call will have any peace more. Now the call will have bonus. For confusion. Now the CM. You are should not quiet. 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 11 of August, we morning, 3 o'clock. Military attack. Military attack. With official, how they burn houses. With official, they burn houses. With official. With official, the fools that they see come back again. When I come, when I catch you, when I come, when I come, when I catch you, when I come, when I can finish you, may God punish you now. Now, the Lobanjan is, and I see them, and they don't burn all people their houses. And I feel look all over, all sides are smoke. And I feel the sea. And I see them. All sides are the poor houses, and I see. 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 That is it. They are burning the villages. Still burning the villages. The United Nations is sitting quiet. Antonio Guterres has been bribed. My phobia, and they are in the same secret societies. So he has said, Pobia should go, go ahead with the genocide. Antonio Guterres should be sucked out of the, sucked out of the, the, the United Nations. He's incapable. He's making the United Nations to become the divided nations. He should be removed. He's an old man who does not reason. He counts on his personal wealth. He's looking for his own personal monies. He took a golden statue. He does not care for the life of the people. Please, 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 the world should take note of this. I continue. The chief, Esu, Eto, shot dead. Our ministers, or our minister in the Republic, wrote to us and told all these things will happen. So we should not be surprised. If all these things are happening,
Hence, the Ambazonia has to make many things to happen in the Republic also. Since they are making things to happen in our country, Ambazonia, we should also start thinking of making things to happen in their own country. We should start making things to happen in their own countries. In their own country, that is in their towns and villages also. Do unto others as they do unto you. It is written in the Bible. So we should not just sit and be thinking that we cannot do it. It is written in the Bible. Do unto others as you hope that they should do unto you. If they kill our people, we have to kill their own people. So we have to think about it now. And Barzones, I'm telling people, you have to wake up. Kill their own people, the United Nations will come in. If we don't kill their people, the United Nations will never come in. So we have to enter their own cities and kill their people, kill their children, burn their schools. The United Nations will come in by force or by law. I am telling you, I'm precise, I'm talking it here from Paris. If we don't do that, the United Nations will never come in. We have to enter their own cities in Douala, Babusam, Yaoundé, kill and burn their, their schools, kill their people, burn their mothers and their houses also. It is written in the Bible, do unto others as they do unto you. They cannot do it to us, we leave them free. This is the time. Yes. It should be noted that the dictator, a real Satan, who is having no friend, if you can kill your own wife, Jean Erembia, let nobody who supports him me things he cannot kill him or her look at what has happened yesterday let me say on the 12th on the 12th of august 2018 chief Esso Eto of Ekondo city was shot dead by a secret police force man dressed like amber boy to paint the self-defense forces black Actions like this are happening already. A chief was killed in Boya. Two rebel fighters were and a, a Ghanaian pastor, a commissioner, a, 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 a name, Njume, was killed in Mutengene. Two Navy officers killed in India, and one of them wife kidnapped etc all this is done by the republic military in disguise to put the blame on the amber self-defense forces and personal forces do not kill people they can arrest you and ask you a few questions after which you are released the chief kill was the former President of the Southwest Chief Conference. They were, he was shot down at the Baptist Church in Kondo City around 11 a.m. A former board chairman of Pamol Plantation, worshipping at the time the events took place. This chairman was present. He saw the events taking place. The reasons for the killing of the chief, Eso Etoy, still remains unknown. And he is an Ambazonia who has been supporting. He is an Ambazonia who have been supporting the Amber independence. Chief Etor, so Etor Stephen, is paramount chief ruler of the Balondo Bananga clan in Indian County, in the southern zone of Amazonia, or the southern Cameroon. This is a strong message to all those who are working with the dictator, Paul Bia, we told you very soon 
he will start killing you people. And this is the time in order to cause opinion changes between the northern and the southern zones. This is the time. He is doing all this to cause opinion changes between the northern and the southern zone. But this, his plan, will not work. To stop us to be more united as one people to be in Boya. Soon we are going to hear allies, ministers, prime ministers, or even parliamentarians, generals, etc., who are from Amazonia, working in the Republic, being killed. This will not take long. We'll start hearing it. He will do all this in order to cause the divides and rule process. This is how France is also working. So France is giving them, you know, all these ideas. But it will fail because Amazonia is a country that has been ordained by God. Nothing can change the course. Nothing can change what God has for them. May the soul of the, the chief rest in perfect peace. The governor of Southwest Bernard Okala, Okali, Okalia Bilai, and Emmanuel Rene Sadi, former Minister of Territorial Administration and Decentralization, now serving at the presidency of the Republic of Cameroon as minister in charge of special duties, has been directly accused by some big guns in Amazonia as responsible for the death of the chief, a tall Samuel of Ekundutiti. Let me try, let me show you his picture of the chief. The Republic is doing terrible things now. Oh, sorry. Yes, Ugo, first of all. Sorry for that. Mix up. This is the picture of the chief. That is the picture of the chief who have been killed. Killed by the Republic forces. Killed by the Republic forces. In order to try all possible means, all possible means so that they can cause, you know, divide and rule. But it will not happen. The struggle will only goes in front. Anything they do, we go ahead. Everything they do, the evil they're doing, we take it advantage and go ahead. Okay, there's also a warning to Prophet Suleiman Johnson. There is a serious warning to Prophet Suleiman Johnson. Who have perhaps been bribed by the Republic to come around to say not anything foolish, you know, preaching in this in his church, so-called church, I don't know. We are calling on Suleiman Johnson to change his attitude for the better of the struggle. He should stop running his mouth concerning the Ambazona struggle. We have once been an independent country. So he should stop running his mouth. We are warning him. It's easy to get him. He's having very bad plans. He's supporting the, 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 the dictator. Talking anyhow. Let me put a video so that you can hear. Warning to him. again Johnson if you run your mouth again I'm telling you we we are just we are eight million people we are the spiritual Israel of today you know to tell you that we are a destined that is 
is an God ordained struggle. Now, the Republic has a standing army, they have the sovereign government. We don't have yet. Yet, they declared war on the 30th of November on us. This is almost a year now that they have been unable to defeat us. With bare hands, we are fighting with stones and with catapults. If you have been bought over, you've been bribed, that you should come and then run the mouth on this. I'm telling you, you are dancing on broken bottles. Suleiman Johnson, the son of a bitch, I'm talking to you, bastard. Listen to me. Please, everybody, share this. I want Suleiman to listen to this today. I want to warn you. Let me tell you, where are the spiritual Israel today? Remember in the, in the, in the 60s, the whole Arab world, the whole Arab, more than 30 countries took up to fight Israel. They never succeeded. It's the same thing. Even France, all the Central African countries speaking French are in their own day. They are fighting against us, but they can't succeed. For you, it's enough reason for you to know that this is God ordained struggle. Stop your mouth from. I don't want to hear your voice on this. Son of a bitch, we are not Biafra. Let me tell you, Biafra is part of Nigeria. They are fighting for secession. We are not part of Cameroon. Don't get confused because you're in Nigeria. Maybe your father, your mother is a bastard from a piece from, from, from Biafra. You think that we're, we are not Biafra. Okay, that is it. Let me see if I can put on that video, on that audio again. Because that's Lubin Johnson. I don't know if he, he, if he knows what he's saying in his church. Comrades in the revolution, please share this video. Share it. Let it go as far as possible. Let it go very quickly and reach the person that I intend to listen to this audio. There is, there is this wasted sperm that the mother was a bitch and was read by a Sulani man in Nigeria. And today he calls himself Apostle Suleiman Johnson. Uh, I know that Suleiman is a Muslim name. Johnson is a Christian. You will believe with me that he was the, he's the product of rape. The mother was a bitch, was raped at the road junction at midnight. And this is what has happened to him. I've been listening to this man with a very, very heavy heart ranting, running his mouth on the struggle of the Southern Cameroons and Bazonia. I want to tell you a couple of things. Yes, I've heard. He has cursed the diasporans who are supporting a just uh, cause. I'm one of them. Solomon Johnson, do you know that Southern Cameroons is an independent country? It's a country that got independent in 1961 and their independence was swept under the carpet and handed over. They were handed over as a captured people to La Republic of Cameroon. Do you know that? Today you are standing ranting. I want to warn you, you son of a bitch, bastard. I want to warn you. If you run your mouth again on this thing, I'm telling you, you don't even know your... Okay, that was the serious warning to Suleiman. Also on the 12th of um, August 2018, forces of Paul Bia when Momo County, Nancy Village, in Meta, Bembry, two doctors were from the, their farm on a bike, were shot down, arrested, shot down by the military of the Republic of Cameroon. The two doctors are husbands and wives. They were all killed. Their hands were tied. Their bike was burned down. And the, the female doctor was pregnant. This woman was killed. I'm telling you, these people don't have respect for humanity. The head of the doctor was even cut off. I think this is the time we have to tell Yaoundé that the war will take a different dimension. As they have started doing this thing and we are just keeping quiet, that is how they continue. So we have to tell Yahweh now that the war will take a different direction. Since the United Nations says it will not come in, the United Nations is blocking the Security Council because most of it has veto powers. Countries like France, China, Britain, they are having veto powers in the Security Council. And they are having interest on Ambazonia where they said they don't, they don't want to say anything to the Security Council. So they have blocked the Security Council. Security Council, and even, you know, the Secretary General also is in favor of the dictator. He's encouraging dictatorship in the world now. So we have to change this war. We have to take the war, carry the war across the Mongol. Across the Mongol. 
We have to carry this war across the Mongo and start burning the schools in La Republic of Cameroon, killing their own kids, killing their own doctors, killing their own women. That is the power of war. If not so, the Scottish Council will not come in. I believe we have to do this. We are capable of turning them in any aspect of the war. We, have to, we are capable of destroying the Republic. We are capable of destroying the Republic. I will put, I will read another you know, speech that even the Republic, they are panicking. All the ministers and the generals are panicking. They have a meeting. They are panicking that the war is, that they, cannot, they, they don't think that they can win us in this war. They are panicking now. If we cross to the Republic, the United Nations will come in. That is the final thing we have to do. If we don't cross, cross they will never come in. We have to cross start killing them, burn their school, burn the National Assembly, burn up to a 2 Then we see how they fight the war. That is what we have to do. We cannot leave that they will be killing our people and we, we don't kill their own people. Killing their military is not enough. We have to kill their people, kill their kids. Cause genocide in their own land. That is the motto of war. Do unto others as they do unto you. We don't have to stand and wait and wait and wait for long. Let's kill their own people so that the United Nations will come in. So that America will come in. So that Britain will cry and say no. So that France will regret. That is what we have to do. I will show you the pictures. I will show you the pictures now. Sorry. Excuse me, the picture, the, the video was not well, the video was not well programmed the way it was sent to me. Please, Lenwe, do not shoot doctor from a, a doctor from a, from a hospital. But then this is a woman, all them two are doctors. So, as a woman, as a woman, they will shoot the madam. The madam to with the Obele. I told the public to decide to do a gun houses. This is it. So we don't know. And we don't know why what America is doing. Trump is doing and UN. So I don't know. And these are innocent souls. So because you try to do something. There's something in the plan zero. There's something here. We the soldiers are suffering. You know, soldiers are dying. I don't know. It's terrible here. This is hard. They tie hands. All of them are doctors, so we don't know what they do. Yeah. Okay, let me show you the next video, please. My fellow Amazonians, let me show you the next video. The evil forces of the Republic killed the doctor and the wife. All of them are doctors. And the wife was pregnant. So I've killed the wife, the child inside the stomach, and the doctor.
this at our lives with good doctors. The doctor and his wife, all of them have, are doctors. They are coming from the farm. They just take the bike and show them, tie their hands. They are coming from the farm. This is bike. Please, please, please send this to Trump in America. You should know what you can do. And to you end. Killing me is too much. Burning some houses, innocent souls. For them to even look for the soldiers, they are not going to they are not going to the bush and look for the soldiers. They answer kill the innocent souls. Terrible, terrible. Okay, that was it for the killing of the doctors. The doctor and the wife who is also a doctor and she was pregnant. We are back in the United Nations, not even the United Nations, America, under Donald Trump, to intervene and see into this problem of genocide. Okay, there is also good news, good news for the Amazonians. The Republic has received a big blow on the face. Moody, that is Moody, for that downgrade. It's outlook. There is a great panic in Yaoundé as the bad news reaching Yaoundé is that Modi has downgraded Cameroon's credit rating. That is, in other words, its ability to have credit and change its outlook from stable to negative. Hence, the credit rating agency no longer have confidence in Cameroon's financial future and its ability to continue saving its, its debts. That is, the Republic will be unable to pay back its debts. And more worrying for Yaoundé, the capital of La Republic, Moody, Moody's reason for the neg negative looking Moody, Moody's reasons for the negative outlooking rate, according to Moody, the persistent political instability. And in other words, the war declared on the Amazonians is a major worry factor. There is uncertainty economically. Credit rating are the only credit ratings. Credit ratings are the go ahead to potential leaders. They give ideas to leaders on how to pay back, you know, credits or debts, which implies that lower your credit rating is the less likely people or institutions will be able or willing to borrow money to you. In this, in this slide, <coughs> the lower you have, you know, the credit ratings, people will be able to borrow money to you easily because they know you will be capable of paying back. But if you have a higher, if they give you a higher, you know, the more you have a higher rating, uh, credit ratings, ratings. You will not be able to pay, so it discourage you know people to give you loans, credit, and this is the case now with La Republic Cameroon. So there is great panicking because nobody will accept again to give La Republic the Cameroon loans or financial loans because of the war. They have lost confidence because the economy is falling. They know if they give loans to La Republic, La Republic cannot pay back. Because where is, is he going to have money to pay? 
War is going on. And Ambazonia will be free. Will be free. And uh, they could, uh, that people will not have any, any resources which you can back up, you can put it as a back up in order to, to take, on, to take uh, uh, loans from people or from countries. So this is the great worry in the Republic of Cameroon. Those who are willing to take risks and borrow some monies will do so at a very high interest rate so as to mitigate for when they default, you know, payments. Very soon, no financial institution will give loan to the Republic for lack of confidence. And the Republic has to face a great depression similar to that of 1929. So this is a very good, good gesture. Very soon, the economy of the Republic will, will be at the canvas level. Yes, the Republic declared war. He will suffer the consequences of war. The consequences of war. He was declared war. You don't know that he will suffer. He felt that when he declared war, we will just run. Everybody will run and go to Nigeria. Everybody will just run. They will own the country. But they are regretting. I will tell you something. From now, you hear what is happening in the Republic. La Republic joined staff meeting with officials are totally confused and had some, you know, issues discussed at 9 a.m. yesterday, let me say on Monday, on Monday. That is the 14. Because normally they hold meetings every Monday. The whole meetings, that is the whole joint staff meetings on Monday in the presidency. Please, my dear Ambazonians, listen to, to their fear and panic. At the presidency of the Republic, the Cameroon, an interministerial staff meeting. Monday, the 14th of August, 2018. They brought forward the aim that there is a huge security concern if a civil war could erupt after the October 8, 2018 presidential election. That will favor Bia against all other candidates. Candidates. They said if the Republic citizens rise, it will be the end because as they call us Anglophones, are already too strong to defeat. We are too strong for them to defeat. So if the Republic have to rise up against Phobia, it will lead to a civil war and it's, that, it's, it's already all finished. They will not know what to do because we are so strong. This is what is being discussed in the presidency. On Monday, this past month, every morning they discuss. They have joined, you know, staff meeting. That is armed forces, leader, you know, ministers, you know, with high ranking people in the government, with the armed forces, everybody, they have meeting. And so this is what they were discussing there in the meeting. They are panicking. They said if La Republic citizens rise up against the government, it will be the end. Because as a because as they call us on the phone, we are they say we are already too strong for them to defeat. We are already too strong for them to defeat. Good news. They themselves they are saying it. Secondly, they reveal that the Southwest chiefs were adopted by Ekima, Patrick, a Songhe, with complices from a few trust gendarmes. Chiefs who were adopted were adopted by Ekima, Patrick, with some complices, you know, from 
some trust gendarmes sent by who was mandated, who were mandated by Atanaji Paul. So you people are hearing now, they are the people saying there that in the presidency that this ship were adopted by a Kema Patrick. Then they were interviewed by some gendarmes. Some gendarmes arrested them and they were saying a lie that it's Amazonia. And these gendarmes were sent by Atanaji Paul. Well, that is why the kidnappers did not show their faces and did not torture the chiefs. But it was unfortunate that one died in the bush. So the chief who died in the bush, it was immediately after the interview from the Republic of Cameroon. They said the adoption happened to show how powerful Ekema and Atanganji are doing a great job ahead of the presidential elections and how Ekema could be compensated with the government delegate post. Thirdly, Ferdinand Ngo Ngo acknowledged that his house was attacked by the military because the style of attack was professional as shown by cameras recordings he said he was the target but unfortunately he was not at a neighbor's home at the hour of the attack fourthly the regime is worried that the recent video in Marua has exposed them negatively and Bia is going to Europe to explain why he thinks some of his soldiers are too unprofessional. There is panic and Bia thinks he will not be in power this year because pressure within is growing because pressure within is growing. Additionally, on the agenda, a point on the type of weapons the Amazonians now have is deeply disturbing and frightful and too powerful. They are afraid, they are panicking, that we are well armed now. They also, they are too united and dangerous that the Amazonians are too united and dangerous they attack their attacks are coordinated and they are almost invisible this is what they are saying they in you know in the beauty parties there you know to do in the presidency that the attack of the Amazonians are you know coordinated and they are almost the, uh, the forces are almost invisible they are afraid there's a lot of panic we are already winning the war this is a victory on our side mr hopes is here to tell you the truth this is victory we have already won the war if this war continue that is what they are saying if this war continue for six months and Bazonia will win us that is what they are saying again the self the staff feared more of ground action. The staff feared more of ground action and information that brainwash citizens to act violently. To them are videos on killings, SDOs and DOs, burning trucks, trucks, taking out chiefs and calling the Cameroon military as ter terrorists are very disturbing events. They noted that citizens are obeying the instructions and the SDOs and the DOs are complaining bitterly to Yawende head office. Finally, the regime noted that the breaking of breaches 
and blocking of roads is the most dangerous action even taken by the Abazonias. We cannot pass into their villages again. They slow us and expose us to, the, to, to more attacks. Can we use our helicopters? They ask. We have only one helicopter left. And what if what if the anglophone shot it down? You know they, they, all the helicopters have been shot down in Abazonia. In Abazonia. And now Americans with all the rest. They have only one helicopter with them. And they are afraid that if the helicopter is shot down, what do, are they going to do? This war from sources of one of this was from sources of one of she or him, perhaps anglophone or francophone, not to put the person's life in jeopardy. This sources was from somebody which we don't know whether it's a male or a female, as we will say, in order not to put the military force to be chasing those who give us information. Thank you very much for sending us this information. You, Mr. Nobody, thank you very much. Because this is the information from somebody who is present with them. Okay. Another information. This one is in Murphy. The Manu Tigers have blocked. Yesterday they blocked the road. A cop Murphy. They make it ungovernable. The road, there was nothing that was going on on the road. They blocked it totally. Info from Manu County, precisely from a cop to Murphy on the 14th of August 2018. The able self defense forces, the Tiger of Ambazonia, locked down the a cock manfe highway and it is totally cut off from circulation this operation started in the morning of the 14th of august 2018 at 8 45 a.m amber time the commander confirmed that there was no movement to and fro. The Mpanim, the Mpani, Mpani team of the Tiger is in control of the operation. This is a good message to the Republic colonial masters who want to frustrate our independent struggle. Thanks to the Manu Tigers. Prince Ayamba Lawrence calls for self-defense forces of Ambas land to do the same in Tiko Dwala Road and if possible block down the Mongo, broke down the Mongo bridge to stop the flow of supplies of military equipment from the Republic to Amazonia. This is what we have to do. We have to try to block the Mongo bridge when it's closer you know, to the election so that when we start beating hard on you know the military they cannot run back because they are feeling that when we start hitting the hard they will run and that go back to Dwala. We have to broke the Mongol bridge before it is first October. We have to broke it down so that when they come we have to round them up and they will finish with them there in Amazonia. The Mongol bridge must be put down so that we make communication you know impossible for them because that is where they take that you know trucks and their military force to come in so I have to break it down. Thank you, the people for money. Okay. There was also a good message from uh, the chameleons of Ediki. A good job done by the chameleons. Rainbow of Ediki. A military man from the Republic was put down to the world beyond. Please, Abazonia's fighters, 
should not spare any the Republic military. They can lay anyone that they lay hands on, anyone you put lay hands on, please don't don't just spare him because these people they are causing genocide on our on our land. They don't choose us, they kill us. So if they had any of the military, don't spare him. Don't spare him, just kill him because they are killing our citizens. They are killing our kids, they are killing our women, they are killing our youth. Any military man that is being caused to be killed. That is the motto for now. So thank you very much. These are the people causing the genocide in our country, Ampasonia. Let me show you the picture how he was arrested. So unfortunately, let me see. This is the man who was arrested and killed. That is the military man. So that the family can see. The family have to cry also. The family should see. Because we are also crying in Abazonia every day. Killing and killing. This is the man. The military man who came to cause. He's the one causing genocide in Abazonia. He has been arrested. That's good. You can see what the, the treatment he gave to him. Because of genocide is, he has been causing. Before he's killed like this, he must have caused a lot of genocide. He must have killed a lot of Amazonia. That is why we have to kill him. These are more pictures, more pictures by the chameleons, the chameleons of, uh, of Ediki. The chameleons are doing a very good job. Good job. We must be in Boya. That is him. That's good. These people are too wicked. The Republic the military people are too wicked. Anyone that is caught should be killed. They are too wicked. Additionally, additionally, at the cattle market at Acha, Tunji, in the northern zone of Amazonia. 17 military forces were put down 12 feet and the others ran for their dear lives in the bushes. We are sure that the public will be looking forward to locate the moon them on Google. But let me tell you, the Republic, it will be it will be of no safety to you if you have to reach Munden. That's okay, Munden, because Munden, if you come there, it's dead, you must die. Because the boys are prepared, they are waiting for anything. The poor are well up there, they are waiting. This war the Ambazonians are fighting is a great war ordained by God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is why the Ambazonia fighters are all spirits. Okay, there is also a good information that is reaching us also. Good information about unity of the forces. 30 groups of Amba fighters came together. In another news, representatives of a major Ambazonia armed group in FACO has an extra, extraordinary, you know, meeting, harmonizing all armies or all armed groups within FACO into a large county army. All armed groups within FACO are now coming together. They were together to form a very strong army. This meeting was held in a classic location within the southern zone of Abazonia. 
with 30 group members in attendance. The spokesman said it was to make a good example from the Red Dragons of Libya under Phil Marshall. That has become a great threat to the forces of the Republic and the government. Thanks to all the groups which are united for one purpose, which is independent of the state of Amazonia. Other breaking news in Njika, Njikwa, other breaking news in Njikwa, and also Ram Menka also. On the 14th of August 2018, successes have been recorded in the northern zone, precisely at Njikwa. The self defense forces have sent many in the Republic military men to the grave. The self defense forces in Njikwa have sent many in the Republic military men to the grave. Yesterday, the 14th of August 2018, two trucks of the Republic military men who were coming to cause genocide in the northern zone, precisely around Njikwa and closer to Menka, were hit by the high rocket or the high rank missile used by the Amber Boys. The whole of the Bamenda Hospital is full with cops of the military from the Republic of Cameroon. Njikwa is a highly, you know, Njikwa is a hilly town. The Amber Boys were placed on the top of the hill with their missile and hit the trucks full with military men of the Republic. Nobody survived. The third truck, the third truck has to make a U-turn. This info is far one. This info is coming out from one of the Ambazonians in the Republic forces that missed this death because he was in the third truck. And even military helicopter we fly struggling to come in order to go and collect the dead bodies, but they are afraid that the missile can also hit them down. So, as I'm telling you, it is great success also in the battle. You will hear it, you will hear the message very soon. The whole mortuary is full. The whole mortuary in Bamina is full with cops. The Republic will carry their back and run out of Amazonia without anybody telling them. Elsewhere in Kumba, in the southwest problem, in the southwest uh, uh, zone, or in the southern zone, the SDO is complaining that. All the government workers have, have escaped from their posts. Even the ADO, Astanzio, has also escaped. And the governor came to Boya as, as is always the case. He also who escaped his nine dollar, he came to Boya and was running his mouth and said he's going to be, going to, to sanction all those who have you know escaped from the forces in Kumba. The SDO for Kumba explained to the governor that everybody is calling for peace talk, but the government is only 
using force. And the Amba boys are more equipped than the, 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 the armies there in Kumba. You see, he was even telling him, telling him that they are calling for, 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 for peace. They don't want to, and they, even the armies in Kumba, they, they are at risk. I will put the video here, I will put an audio. You will hear from my audio. Let me see if I can put it. Tell you people, there are some betrayers also, you know, still in the Ambalam. Somebody informed the bee in Malinde Kumba on the 15th of August 2018, where the whereabouts of some Amba boys and they be attacked and kill them. And the informer was also killed. Please, self defense forces, be aware of those who you show where your camp is situated. For Atanaji and Ekema Patrick are training boys to act as Amber Boys. Because there's even a letter that has come up again in the hands of John Ba Akuru, Mr. John Ba Akuru, where the ministers are informing us again many things which are happening. A consignment, a consignment of you know arms are coming to Boya, to Ekema, to hand it over to his boys. In order to fight against the self brain forces. So the self brain forces should be aware of this. This is just to create confusion so that the, the world should say now they are fighting in between themselves. So the self defense forces should know in advance. He has to send it. The, you know, the arms are coming, the consignment are coming in Bamenda also. Atanaji Paul will take it to Bamenda and give it to the boys in Bamenda so that they will be fighting against the Amber Boys. So that the world will see that they have started fighting among themselves. 
So people should be aware and start looking for strategies, you know, to take this arm from this boy. So be prepared to storm a Kemal Patrick's house and seize all those arms immediately they get in. Because, you know, the minister said they will inform us when the arms will get in. And they will inform, they'll give the names of the boys who will be working with Ekema and Atanji. So with time, we are waiting for the names from the minister. Thank you, Mr. Minister, for all this information you are giving us. Once the name comes, we'll get all the boys. I will seize all the arms, I will own the arms. So let Ekema receive the arms. The armor boys are going to seize all the arms from their hands. And they will kill you. We will take all the arms. We are prepared. Atanji Paul, take the arms. We will seize all the arms and we will become more stronger. So we are waiting for the arms. Thank you, Amazonia. God bless all of you. God bless the struggle. Long live Amazonia and short live the struggle.